subscribe now. EU debates. Three years ago, the conference on the future of Europe was a bit of a crazy idea. A year ago, the conference was launched here, and now we can see that it's been a success. As Guy said, as I'm sure Mrs. Sweetser will say, this conference owes you, citizens, everything. You're some of the few of the citizens who have been committed. You represent these tens of thousands who got involved and the hundreds of thousands who made contributions online. You've been involved in long hours of work to discuss, debate, reflect, criticise and make proposals on the future of Europe. Countless participants have been represented by you and I'd like to thank them and give them a round of applause. Ce succès se mesure également à l'ONU. I think this success is shown by the very specific and clear 49 objectives and the 300 clear measures that you have patiently drawn up. You've drawn up a credible and ambitious roadmap for all of us. You have created a vision of Europe for the decades to come, a brave and protecting Europe that takes on a leading role in the climate and environment that is more effective in what it does and gives citizens their place in decision making. But this conference is not only a success, it is first and foremost an example, an example for our Europe. We have seen Europe move forward when crises take place, the nights of, of European Council meetings. But you have shown that we can act collectively and effectively via patient discussion, reasoned debate, by placing our common values above specific interests. This conference is first and foremost an example for the world today on the 9th of May. Mr. Putin has decided to bring war to our continent, but at the same time you've chosen democracy. I predict that on the 9th of May, history will recall how in Russia there were military parades, whereas here in Strasbourg, hundreds of citizens came together to refound our, Euro our union. And history will show that we, that you, were right. Chers participants à la conférence, chers citizens, participants, presidents, this success and this example obliges us, obliges our institutions to follow up on these proposals, to establish priorities courageously without taboos. Legislating always means making choices and choices will have to be made. And we will make choices and we will come back to you in a regular and transparent manner to explain our choices. Citizens, participants in the conference. We are pleased to have been able to count on you. You can now count on us. Thank you.